fire broke out under some bookshelves in the office of the Mid-State Chemical and Supply Company. It quickly spread to the wooden roof and then to the adjacent warehouse and shipping docks. Five employees were closing the office at the time. One of them was co-owner Jim Robertson. Were you able to make any efforts to put out the fire with the office extinguishers? No, it, it, he, the foreman tried, but it started going too quick. I said, get the hell out. We had a small truck parked inside the door, and we got that truck out and moved another truck back, and the foreman was by then on his way down to the fire department in his automobile, and they got here promptly. Uh, what is actually being spewed out of there? Was that smoke chlorine? Where is it coming from? It's out of cylinders, cylinder tanks. They're 150-pound tanks of chlorine, and the fusible plugs melt at a fire to keep the cylinders from blowing up and uh, it will emit chlorine gas and that's what the fumes are and they're keeping water on it. The chlorine leaked from the tanks through the windows and roofs sending dense yellow clouds across the near east side. Because the 150 tanks were broken there was no way to shut off the flow of the poisonous gas. When inhaled in large amounts chlorine can be fatal and police evacuated almost 500 persons in the surrounding area. A light southerly wind carried the clouds of chlorine immediately north and west of the area. However, police reported no further danger unless the fumes accumulated as thick as fog. If that occurred, authorities told residents to shut off air conditioners and fans and might pull the gas into their homes. The chlorine, which the company sold for use at large swimming pools as well as for industrial water treatment, can also burn the eyes and skin if contacted in large amounts. The escaping chlorine gas kept the firemen in danger at the scene. Fire Chief David Russell explains. We got about 75 of these tanks, and they got 150 pounds of chlorine gas in them. That's what's giving us the trouble. We have evacuated the area around here. How about uh, the firemen? Are they uh, having trouble just getting in? How long can they stay in there? They can just stay in there about 20 minutes with these masks we have right now. We've got sent three of them to the hospital now with gas. Any others uh, been overcome by the gas? Not yet, no. Looks hard on you, believe me. Just after this interview, Chief Russell was taken to General Hospital for treatment of chlorine inhalation, along with seven other firemen and one special policeman who had helped seal off the area. Fireman Ronald Gammon was critically injured when he fell through the warehouse roof, suffering neck, back, and leg injuries. The firemen, all wearing oxygen masks, went through the air tanks in rapid-fire succession. 10,000 pounds of compressed air were used in the back tanks, and more was sent to the scene. In addition to taking oxygen when they came out of the building, many of the men had to wash off areas of their faces and necks that were exposed to the gas to prevent possible burns. Co-owner Robertson estimated the damage to the contents of the company at $100,000. The building was valued at $75,000. Robertson said the fumes may be a problem in the area for several days. The Red Cross has set up emergency facilities at 21st and Hillside for those forced out of their homes. Frank Phillippe, Channel 8 News.